Hey guys, it's Angie and today I am going to be doing a little bit different type of video than what I've done in the past. This is actually going to be more like a vlog style. Um, I want to talk to you about, or I want to, I guess, tell you about something that's really cool that a good friend of mine, Trista, told me about and it is the 101 list. And what it is, is it's a list of 101 things that you want to do in a thousand and one days. The website you go to to set it up is called dayzeroproject.com and it's a free website, um, totally free to set up your list and what it is, um, I mean I, here I printed mine off, it's just a couple of pages of all this stuff, but what's really cool is so you go to the website dayzeroproject.com and you sign up, you create an account or whatever, and then there is just lists and lists of things that people have already put on their list. They also have like subcategories of like places to visit or like the one that I went through a lot was just like random things or places to, there's a lot of places to visit um, or books to read or movies to watch. So you don't need to think of 101 things on your own because that would be really hard, I think. Um, but to give you an example, because I know right now you're probably thinking like, oh, that doesn't sound that exciting. On the contrary, it is very exciting. Um, so I initially started this back probably like a year and a half ago um, when my friend Trista told me about it. She had almost completed hers, I think, at the time. And so she told me about it. She said it was really cool. I went and I set it up. I put like five things on it. And then, you know, life happened and I got pregnant and had a baby and I totally forgot to do it. And then when she was talking about it recently again, I logged back on. I think I had 14 things on there. And it was almost like the expiration date because I had done it so long. I think I had like a year left or something. And a thousand and one days is about two and a half years. Um, so when I had started this... Um, I I did a couple of things. The things that I had done on this list that I only had 14 things. Um, I ran a marathon. I got a massage. I had a baby. And I learned to knit. Um, so th that's just a small example. Those are the things I accomplished. I chose to kept those, keep those on there because, you know, why not? I know it won't, wouldn't have been in, like, the original 1001 days, but I mean... There's not like any hard and fast rules for this. It's just more of a, I think of it more as like a personal exploration type thing. Um, and it's not, I mean, and my entire list, and I think I actually have, currently I have 103 things. None of them are anything to the effect of lose 50 pounds or you know, make $100,000 in one year, or, you know, stuff like that. It's more things that I picked that I felt would make me kind of like grow as a person and experience new things that I probably wouldn't just be doing on my own with no, you know, given no motivation. So some of these, and like some of these, like having a baby and getting a marathon, or having a baby, running a marathon, those I already knew I was going to be doing when I made this list, so I think it's kind of like cheating, because um, I think I was in the middle of marathon training when I made this list, so those were a little bit cheating, but, um, so just an example of the, the things that I think would, you know, really help, that, that are really going to help me expand my horizons, if you will, or just like, you know, grow and mature as a person. Um, number 18, don't complain about anything for a week. And, you know, I probably complain about stuff like all the time. Mostly not like seriously complaining, but more just like trying to be funny, like complaining about stuff. But, I mean, that is... I think like a really good thing to strive for and I envision it or I anticipate it making me like just appreciate things more. Um, 
another one not log on to Facebook for a whole week um, you know again that's just I think gonna make me more like live in the moment um, go fishing, attend a demolition derby, learn to shoot a bow and arrow. These are all things that I probably wouldn't do just on a given day. You know, maybe I can combine them. Maybe I can fish with a bow and arrow at a demolition derby. I don't know. We will see. Draw a self-portrait. I am not a drawer. I'm not good at drawing. But I think that this would be fun and... You know, it's just really one of those things, just to do new stuff. Let's see here. Learn how to write my name in Japanese. That would be fun. Um, I have a Japanese last name, so why not learn how to write my name in Japanese? Seems to make sense. Take a glass blowing class. That's one thing I really wanted to do, and Trista had done that as part of her 101 list a couple of years ago and for whatever reason I wasn't able to do it. I just don't think I had the money to do it at the time. Um, so that's something I really want to do. It looks so cool. And then there's just some silly ones like learn to crack an egg with one hand. Why not? Um, attend a masquerade party. I think that would be so fun. I've always wanted to do that. And you get to wear those fun masks and it's just kind of like fun and like grown up and vintage and I just can imagine like drinking like martinis and having like a little fan and well I would need to have maybe I would need to have the mask that's on my face and then I can have a drink in one hand and a fan in the other and there'd be feathers and stuff um so that would be cool Ooh, wear my hair down for a week that's one that I plan on doing um, next week, so it'll start tomorrow. I always wear my hair up and you know, I've really been kind of striving towards getting like, you know, getting my makeup looking good for when I go to work and getting my clothes and my outfits looking good and my hair is kind of like the one thing that's lagging. I just don't have time in the morning, really. Um, so I need to make time is basically what it comes down to. Um, what else? Open a cookbook to a random page and make whatever's on it. There's a couple of cooking ones on here. I do a ton of cooking and, you know, I, you know, I run out of things to cook. I'm always asking people at work, like, hey, what are you having for dinner tonight? What do you have for dinner last night? And I think they think I'm, like, super weird. Like, why is she always asking me what I ate for dinner? Because I'm looking for ideas. I'm not really that interested in what you had. I'm looking for ideas for myself. Sorry. Um, compliment someone every day for 10 days straight. It'll honestly probably be my husband. Um, sometimes I feel like... I think, I think it goes for any relationship. Like when you're with someone for so long, we've been together almost eight years. You know, you forget to compliment them. So compliment someone every day for 10 days straight. And then some of these I think again are kind of like cheating because I'm probably gonna do them anyways. Uh, let's see here. Oh like get a tattoo. I plan on getting more tattoos. I've got a couple now. I That's something I was already gonna do but whatever I'll keep it on here. Um, go horseback riding. I until recently was terrified of horses so that would be a huge thing and where I live it is like horse country there's horse like horses walk down the road like my road I mean they're, they're with people but um so it's something that we really have around here that I should take advantage of um I mean obviously that's not all of them like learn to juggle that would be awesome I don't know how to juggle um, I mean, there's just so many, and there's just, you can do whatever. It's not, it's not anything that's supposed to be too serious. It's just, it's really fun. I am looking forward to completing it. Some of them, because I'm a huge nerd, I guess, some of them I've made, like, kind of, like, action plans for, and just, like, things that I need, you know, how to accomplish it. I think that 
personally is gonna help me kind of like accomplish it better. But yeah. And again, so that website is dayzeroproject.com, all spelled out, all, you know, like the word zero. And it's the 101 list, so if you just Google 101 list, you'll find it. And I'm just really excited, me and my friend Trista and another friend of mine, Wendy, we're both kind of going through this together and doing it together. Trista must be doing it again, or she's just going to do it, do our things with us. I don't know. Um, so that'll be really fun, and we're actually starting a book club, which isn't on the list, but just reading books in general is. So, you know, it's just, it's fun, and we'll get to have, like, a girls' night, and, you know, I just, I'm very excited for it. Um, so that's all that I wanted to do is I wanted to tell you about this, kind of explain it, show my list a little bit, and I plan on taking you guys along on some of these things. Um, even not, obviously not all of these will, you know, be applicable, but, you know, what we can do, we'll do, and yeah, so I think it's just pretty cool. If you guys have a one-on-one -on -one list or if you start one, or if you want to share some things, you know, that are on your list, you know, leave that in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to see more stuff about this or see things on, you know, like completing these things, one of them I plan on doing. Um, ba -ba -ba, where did it go? Where did you go? Oh, make or uh, find a personally inspirational quote and make it into a work of art. I plan on doing that. I've kind of like broken this down like some of the some of these things are just like a one-shot deal like you just do it and it's done. Um, some of them are not but you know I've kind of like broken it down like I'm gonna focus on these right now and then focus on these and then focus on these and kind of just set like time frames for them because I mean looking at the list as a whole it could kind of get like overwhelming. Um, but yeah that work creating a piece of artwork from a quote, I plan on doing a video on that. It'll kind of be like a one-on-one -on -one list slash DIY. So, still have to figure out basically everything with that one yet, but I know I want to film it. So again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll, you know, keep you guys updated on how it's going. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and then you'll get updated on all of the aforementioned videos. And yeah, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Yama Mama Makeup. And that's it. Alright, until next time, guys. Bye!